Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, and welcome to the video for what is the Git Game Time Sense Creation Node. The Git Game Time Sense Creation Node is really simple. It asks an actor and says, "Hey, how long has it been since you've been created?" and it returns back a float value which is going to be the seconds and milliseconds that it's existed. We run our example. We're going to see two timers here. Roughly every second, I'm asking the engine, how long has it been since the blueprint that spawned you has been created, and how long has it been in game seconds? And that's why you can see these two red and blue numbers are the same. The game is coming up at the same time as items have been created, since it exists in my world right here. So our Items creation is at the same time that the game was created, so these nodes are matching. Now, about five seconds later, I am spawning in an item, and then two seconds after that, I'm asking it, hey, how long have you been around for? And that's why when I run this, you'll notice our numbers ticking up. That's how long our item's been in the world. And then we spawn in an item, and two seconds later, approximately, we ask it, how long have you been around for? And it says, oh, I've been around for about two seconds even though the other items were around for longer. Now these are affected by dilation, such as pausing or slow-mo. You notice I have dilated on, I've paused the game, I no longer have any timers going up. If I unpause it, it'll continue where we last left off. So once we get to here, I can pause it again. Now at this point in time, it's been a couple seconds. It's been about five seconds since our item spawned in, sorry, after five seconds, our item spawned in. After two seconds after that, the item itself will tell us how long it's been alive for. And this entire time I've been talking, the game technically has been running. However, when we unpause this, you'll notice it only says it's been about seven or eight seconds. The item's been alive. And it was only roughly two seconds after I spawned the item, according to it, that it's been alive. And that's because our nodes are affected by dilation. So I had to bring that up twice because it's important to know the game time sense creation node is affected by dilation and slow mode. Now there are two versions of the node. We just type in git game time sense creation inside of an actor. It's going to go ahead and tell us how long this actor has been alive for in a float. It's going to be seconds and milliseconds. Now if you want to target something else, you have to do it context sensitive. You'll notice there's no input here. So if we drag off an actor, in this case I spawned one in, and did get game time since creation, you'll notice we now have an input pin. We can target any other actor, and it's going to give us back the same float value for the time since creation. And that's it. That's our get game time since creation node. It'll let us know how long something has been alive in the world. An actor, technically, because actors are what exists in the world. It is affected by slow-mo and pausing, so time dilation. It's useful, for example, maybe you have a manager. It spawns in some enemies. Maybe you want those enemies to die after a certain amount of time. But maybe you don't want those enemies to tick, or you don't want them to take care of themselves. You're just going to have something else taking care of it. Well, they can just query another actor. Say, hey, how long have you been alive for? The actor will tell it, and then we can do something accordingly.